Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You are watching for take. Till the date, we reviewed the lots of custom ROM for nothing phone one, but after Android 14 release, very few custom ROMs offered the Android 14 experience for the nothing phone one. And one more addition was done by the Bliss OS team with their new Bliss OS 17.2 Android 14 based ROM. Bliss OS offers amazing customizations and the stability. They are also working for the Android x86 project. So today we are going to flash this Bliss OS. We will show you quick installation process. We will test all the essential features to confirm everything is working or not. We will mainly test the nothing OS camera and the glyph light. We will see quick core your Bliss OS customizations and the Android 14 features available in the ROM. Finally, I have shown the major bugs or the issues present in the ROM, so you can decide whether this ROM is suitable for you or not. So without further ado, let's get started. On the new adventure. <laughs> Flashing of this ROM is simple. You can flash this ROM on the top of any nothing else version. Your device bootloader must be unlocked with the USB debugging enabled in the developer setting. Download ROM zip file, boot and the vendor underscore image files, place them in a one folder within the platform tools of your PC or on the desktop. Now power up the device, then by long pressing volume down plus power button, boot your device into the bootloader mode. Now connect it to the PC, now go to the folder where you placed all the files. There open the PowerShell window by clicking shift plus right click of your mouse. Now flash the boot image first using the command as you can check on the screen. Then flash the vendor underscore boot image. Once done, boot your device into the recovery by manually selecting the recovery option by using the volume buttons and by pressing the power button to confirm. You will see your device booted to this Bliss OS recovery. In the recovery, now tap apply update, then select ADB side load. Next, in the same PowerShell window, type ADB side load and drag the ROM zip file and hit enter. You will see the flashing of new ROM starts. Once done, you will get the 1x4 notification. Now, in the recovery, tap factory set and then tap format data. Once formatting gets done, reboot the device. That's it, our device starts to boot into the new Bliss OS animation. ROM comes with their own Bliss OS launcher. Now let's jump to the about phone details. Here it's showing the Bliss OS version as the 17.2. If you tap on this, we get the complete details of the ROM. Like Bliss OS version is 17.2 universe. Maintainer of devices, the Ion C1. Build status is the official, this ROM is officially supported. ROM is based on the Android 14 with their own history. It has the latest QPR3 sources. Security patch is of February 2024. Kana version is 5.4.259 and is builded with the latest Clang toolchain version 17.02. Say Linux of the ROM is enforcing, so it's more secure ROM. So Bliss OS team tried to maintain the, all the ROM sources up to date. Next part of our video timeline is which essential features are working in the ROM. Like Wafa, Wafa hotspot are working perfectly. ROM has the working few OLT and few ONR calls with the call recording function. You will find the recorded calls under the call lock section. Smart 5G Wafa calling settings are working good. NFC GPS location settings are working. Both the on screen and off screen OK Google voice activation is working. ROM has fully working face unlock and it's buzzing fast. Surprisingly, after Pixis OS, we got yet another custom ROM with the working battery share setting. All the sensors like accelerometer light, proximity, magnetometer compass are working fine. Except these other essential features like the fingerprint scanner, ear proximity, mic, multi-touch display, all are these things working and fully stable. The most important feature Septinet is working so you can enjoy all the banking or the security applications in this ROM. Now comes the most important feature of the stock Nothing OS that is camera. The ROM has the latest version of Nothing OS camera. Important features like the ultra wide camera angle modes are working here. Portrait mode is working but it has some bugs that we will check under the bug section. Time lapse video recording are working. Panorama mode is working. 
macro photo shooting is working and here is a macro picture sample export mode is working with the all the modes for video shooting hdr video stabilizations these important settings are working for photo shooting motion photos are working here is a sample of motion photo 50 megapixel photo setting is also working all camera scenes effects are working camera video shooting glyph flash is not working but you can enable it using the glyph torch qs panel tile but there are some camera bugs that we will check under the bug section next important nothing feature is the glyph light rom has dedicated glyph setting with all the options like the glyph brightness control call animation setting has lots of glyph presets but like all the android 14 roms this one also not showing the real time glyph animation for the presets but while actual incoming calls it's working good same issue has been there for the notification light option none of notification presets showing the glyph flashlight animation but once selected they are working for all the notification volume indicator setting is working perfectly flip to glyph setting is working but uh, flip to glyph animation effect takes some time music visualizer setting working and shows the disco light effect for the glyph light panel when you place any media on your device battery level indicator is also working and it shows the level after shaking the phone it's useful for us whenever you need to check the battery level so basically both the important features like nothing camera and the glyph lights are working very good now let's quickly check out the features available in the rom under the blissify setting you can all the customization features categorized in the different tabs i will not discuss all these here i will check only important part of them like who gets the bunch of under display fingerprint scanner animation under the lost screen tab except that in the miscellaneous option who gets the usb configuration clipboard or less setting ignore windows secure flag unlock higher fps in the games like bhmi which enables the 90 fps but currently i didn't test this option so i can't guarantee it will work or not netflix spoofing toggle is not working if you are getting play integrity issue you can use this toggle to fix the play integrity issues except this some other options like enabling the pixel props spoofing the device as the pixel 8 pro for all the google application helps to enable all the pixel device features in the rom except this rom comes with the highly customizable bliss launcher where you get the lots of customizations but specially i liked the taskbar and the hidden or protected app setting which are pretty useful options except this rom site customization most of android 14 features like new linear font control qs panel tile and the monochrome theme tiles are available and they are working good new magnification gesture setting and the new flashlight with the screen flash accessibility settings are working well still rom has some missing features and the bugs first one is the new android 14 ai emojis and the ai generated wallpaper setting is not available under the wallpaper and style setting only new lock screen clock customization is available here for camera slow motion shooting works but recorded videos are not getting saved in the storage or the gallery for video recording 4k 30fps and 60fps both are not working when i tried to shoot 4k 30fps setting 30 fps option getting grayed off means you can shoot only 4k videos without frame control for portrait pictures only main camera able to take the portrait shots they have good background blur effect but the selfie camera portrait shots are not working pictures are not getting saved in the gallery after taking the selfie portrait pics no glyph flash is working for the video shooting but you can use the glyph flash style as a camera flash most problematic issue of this rom is that the device play protect is uncertified so some applications like netflix can't be installed in this rom miscellaneous settings has the fix for this issue but it's also not working i tried it device wide one security level is l3 so amazon prime like streaming applications can only stream videos up to 720p resolution no one 80p resolution streaming is available so these are the major issues here only play integrity issue is the major other things seems negligible 
So I can definitely recommend this ROM which offers the customizations with the, all the major working features that you will need to use the custom ROM as a daily driver. That's it for today guys. Hope you liked my work. Then please do like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.